past month or so, I've been slowly moving away from the prop liner age to the jet age for my winter build, which is a Douglas DC9-15. I found some uh, card models. Blew it up 350% to 120 scale, so I got a 52 inch wingspan, a 63 inch fuselage. This is my first time using a depth on construction plane. I still got wood for the internal parts, like the wing. I got 6mm aero Depron from rcfoam.com for stuff like the bulkheads and wing ribs and for the sheeting I'm using 2mm Depron for the electronics 64mm AEO EDF fan and motors I'll probably get the 8 blade set up because these are sounding a little whiny I like that uh that whoosh sound I'm using uh 50 amp ESC's 3 amp UBC program uh Emacs you know, your servos all around except for the uh, horizontal stabilizer and elevators which are using H HS55s. These are 25 size electric tracks from RC Aerodyne. They're half the price of the E-Flight units and I like them a lot better. So I started with the nose right there. And I did the fuselage. This is where the wing box go. This is going to be skinned. I got all the skinning right here ready to go. Uh, for the back end, I got it's all messed up right now because I haven't uh, put it all together. But going in between the back end of the fuselage is the engine pylon. I'll have to line this up. That's where the EDFs attach you on the end. And then the cells will be glued on top of that. Uh, here's the hor vertical and horizontal stabilizer. It's right here. It's a little ugly right now. But it will be uh, fixed up before I cover. The rudder goes right here. Elevators are done. Ailerons and flaps are done. I'm using LED lights on this build. This is a white position light on the back of the tail. And I got a nav and strobe um, on each wing tip. I'm going to be using red beacon lights for on the bottom of the fuselage. I'm going to do Hawaiian Airlines for the color scheme. Not sure if I'm going to do the old livery or the old new livery. So I'll choose that color scheme later. I'm using an A channel receiver and radio. Put a slideshow of all pictures here, and I'll see you in part two. Here's the first sheet of paper printed out and tiled together. So I started the note. Here's a paper parts I need. I put them together on a 2mm sheet, cut all the parts out, and uh, start assembling everything. Pretty straightforward, although I still need to practice bending thing, everything together. I moved on to the tail next, and instead of just sandwiching foam together for both stabilizers, I did an open or a built up uh, construction using ribs, carbon fiber, some wood. Finish your rudder, the horizontal stabilizer parts, and uh, put a little dihedro in there. I basically did the bend over method to try and achieve somewhat of a symmetrical airfoil in a save time, and that worked pretty well. Here's a video of the servos working. After that was done, I put the rudder servo in and closed up the vertical stabilizer. Here's a fuselage center section with the three three formers spaced out so they would fit over the wing box in the center uh, section and then I started the tail part by laying the plan plans over um, cutting them out the formers bending the shape and here's what it looks like I tackled the engine pylons next I laid the original plans over the completed aft section of the fuselage and cut into the areas where the pylon is going to fit into cut the pylon out added a uh, an airfoil and a plywood strip for the EDS mount to, and here's what it looks like in the fuselage. I'll be glued together later on. It's been a good hour putting together the DC9 short, short stubby uh, plan of the wing, and I laid the plans over the Depron and made all four skins, cut out the flaps and ailerons, and then for the airfoils, I basically sized them Clark wise. For some good lift and drag, which I need for the short wings, and the Microsoft Word, cut those out, laid those on, and built the aileron and flap, and de made the main spar out of base wood and epoxy that in with a wood piece under the wing tip to get some wash out in, and went the servos and lights. After that, I repeated the same everything for the right panel and put it together. Here's a uh, wing joiner that'll add about one to two degrees of dihedral. I'll make a few more of those for strengthening. Keep in mind that the landing gear has to fit in there too. That's it for this part, and I'll see you in a few weeks.